You can have all of the clamps in the world and still have a problem with not getting a flat shape when it comes to clamping something down. Using plywood, which is a very stable medium, I've created something here that will allow me to get a nice, perfectly flat surface. It slides inside of my vise, and it has these three tongues on it that will allow me to clamp in between them as well as anywhere on the surface. I started making this about five months ago because I really wanted to make sure that I tested it to make sure that this is something that, that, that works. And I've made some really cool things out of this that are absolutely flat. This is the, easily the best way that I've ever found to get something perfectly flat on the surface. So today we're gonna make this clamping surface that I'm really excited about. I have all my pieces here. You'll find all the information for the materials on the website, which will be in the description. I cut these to length with my circular saw and then cut them to width on the table saw. And then my half inch piece, I did the same thing. Of course, it's a little bit bigger than the other pieces. I'm gonna glue these together, but before I do, I made sure to sand each piece. The piece that will actually go in the clamp, I need to cut out a section here now before I do any kind of glue up. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit this on the table. I need to decide where this is gonna fit inside of my vise because obviously in that spot, I won't be able to use the clamps on the top. So I found my center and went over five inches on each side. Now I want to still be able to clamp in the center. I don't wanna have this giant space here. So what I'm gonna do is come out two inches on both sides and you can do this however you wanna do it. And I do think I'm gonna go an inch on either side. I wanna cut out this as well as this and then on the sides. I went ahead and cut this out and then I realized that it really wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be. It, I mean, it's obviously it's gonna be a little bit more weaker because I've cut out so much of it that I'm going to get rid of one of the other pieces and I've already cut a new piece that will be glued next to this one. So there will be a lot more strength in the vise. I don't have to worry about it breaking in time. I'm gonna go ahead and glue all this together. I'm gonna to have the two on the bottom I'm gonna have my center here, my new piece that I just cut, and then this one like this. And I wanna glue all these together. I've taken the clamps off now and it looks pretty good. It's dry. I think that there are a couple boards in here that are not straight. I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to the planer now and plane it down. And to make sure that everything gets planed, I'm just gonna add a mark all the way across here. I've got a strip of HDPE that I'm gonna to add to the top of this because from what I've read online, there really isn't any glue that will stick to this. I'm just gonna use, I think either staples or brad point bits to hold this onto, onto my plywood. I decided to go with brads and you can see that I've got this pinned down right here. I wanna make sure that this is completely flat against the surface that I just cleaned up. I'm gonna go right up to the edge. And it did create a little bit of a, a bump on the surface. I'll take my flush chisel and just clean up each one of those bumps. Now I've got a flat surface. Let's go ahead and try this out. Well, it's been four months now, almost five. What I'm gonna do is add each layer and then add a little bit of salt on top to keep things from moving around. Just a little tiny bit of salt. This is the last layer. 
So I'll go ahead and put these on, stack these up. Okay, we're gonna come back when this is dry and we'll see how it turns out. I did decide to come back in here and remove all the clamps and then just use a two by four call to hold everything down just because I wanted to get a more even clamping area. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these now. We're gonna check out this piece of wood that I've created out of layers of pine. And this is what I like the most. It doesn't stick to the surface and it really does give me a very flat, very flat glue up. I could put a square on the surface and I've just, I've got a perfect, perfect flat surface on this. And my favorite part about this is that to clean up the glue, you can come in here and just scrape it off. I'm not a fan of not being able to glue this to the surface. Again, having to use the nails or staples to attach it. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know if I'll put this on the website. Uh, a lot of it's kind of self-explanatory. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this. As always, remember to keep making things.